In this video, I'll help you to understand about smart objects in Photoshop. Every designer must know about the benefits of smart objects. The main intention of smart objects is to never lose the quality of any vector object or an image, even if we rescale or resample it, or change its position or rotate it however we want in our document. This means you bring in any photographs or any vector objects in your document, and you scale it down and you scale it up again. In this process of scaling up and down the image, if you do not want to lose the real quality of your image, then you must make that image a smart object first. Let's see an example so that you can get the actual idea of smart objects. Here I have a vector object in Illustrator. I copy this object by pressing Ctrl plus C, then go to Photoshop and press Ctrl plus V to paste. When I paste it in Photoshop, it gives four different options to choose from, like Smart Object, Pixel, Path, and Shape Layer. This time I'm going to select Smart Object. Press OK. So here is our vector object with good quality. See there in the Layer panel, the layer has a small icon button on the corner of it. This small icon indicates this is a Smart Object. Now. Press Ctrl plus T to scale down the object. Press Ctrl plus T again and scale it up, and hit Enter. You can see here that the quality and sharpness of the object is the same as before we scaled it down. It hasn't lost even 1% of the quality. Now switch off this layer and press Ctrl V to paste again but this time I'm going to select Pixels. The object is in its original quality now, but once we scale it down and scale it up again, you can see how it's losing the real quality of the object. It has been blurred and lost too much color information of the object. Let's see the reason why the object hasn't lost its information when it's converted to a smart object and why it lost them all when it was a normal layer. Take the Smart Object layer and scale it down and rescale it up again. You can see that it doesn't lose any color information and remains sharp, and that's because it's embedded inside of the Smart Object, which means it's referring to the original vector information instead of referring pixel information when it was imported. And now let's talk about the object which we have imported as pixel. When we scale it down, it doesn't need much information to display at the smaller size, so it throws away extra information which is not needed to display it. Now when we are scaling it back up, it doesn't remember that extra information which was thrown away when we scaled it down. So you can see how it has lost some of its quality and sharpness and how bad that looks. If you're a designer and you're working on composite design in Photoshop and you're using different objects in your work and you're rescaling, resampling, rotating and repositioning them to get the right look, it's definitely going to decrease the real quality of the images if they're not converted to smart objects. Now let's check this on a photograph. Here I have a photograph and I've already extracted it from the background to a separate layer. Now drag and drop it to our file without converting it to a smart object. This image is much larger than our file size, so let's scale it down. Now I don't know if you can see or not, but each and every time that we rescale it up and down, it degrades the quality of the image. Now scale it back up and notice how it is degrading the quality from the real image. Now go to the other document and right click on the image layer and convert it into a smart object. Then drag and drop to our main file and scale it down, change its position, and rescale it back up again. Now you can see the images haven't lost a bit of quality from the original image. Compare the smart object and a normal layer. You can see the difference between the two. So now I hope that the concept of a smart object is very clear in your mind, and you can take advantage of it while designing. Whether it is an image or a photograph or a vector object, you can independently rescale or resample it or do anything without losing the original quality of the particular object.